Hello, ladies and gentlemen, this is Roby here with another Divi Engine quick tip for you. And today we're going to be taking a look at our Divi Body Commerce plugin, and we're going to be adding one of those amazing wishlist features that you see all over the internet. You know, the one, the one with a little heart on there that keeps all those wished and desired items ready for you to purchase when you have the money. Now we do that in three simple steps. I'm going to take you through each one right now. So why don't we get right to it? Oh, but before we do that, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. If you're not subscribed yet, we want you to get the most out of your Divi engine plugins. So let's go. Okay, guys. So as normal, we'll start in the back end of a Divi install with body commerce installed. And I will just head over to the body commerce settings here. And then right on this page, you'll see the wishlist tab. And that is the first step is activating the wishlist feature. This activates the wishlist module that's needed to be added to either your product loop or to your single product page template. We're going to be adding it to my loop today. And as you can see, I'm working here with a rather uninspired layout, but I'm going to make it a little bit more fresh by adding that wishlist feature. So let's just head back to our dashboard. And the first thing we'll do is we'll go to our Divi library and we'll go edit that loop that I have there. Now I've got my image top wishlist loop layout here, which is the one that I am using on that page. And again, like I mentioned, you can add this to your single product page template. That's going to be up to you. It's probably a good place to have it also. I'm adding a new module. I type in wish and the wishlist compare module pops up. Now, if you don't have body commerce or didn't know, wishlist is a fairly new feature, but the compare tables is another powerful one. And we'll be doing a quick tip on that one in the future. You just want to make sure that wishlist is selected here. And now you can say make the module as a button. Yeah, why not? We can do that and we can add some button text, but I like it as an icon. So we're going to be adding the pop up notification. You can do that. This says adding to your wish list and then add it to your wish list and all that fun stuff. Here is where you can go ahead and configure the icon. And I'm just going to go in and type in heart, select the heart icon where you want to make that one red. And there you go. So you can use an add icon font size. You can go ahead and change that if you want, but we're not going to do that. And actually what I'm going to do, I'm going to make the empty heart icon this one. And then the, when it's in your icon list, you can have a different icon for it, of course. So we can just go ahead and type in heart again. I'll select the full heart and I'll make it red. That's all I'm going to do for this right now. Um, when we kind of preview the mobile view, which kind of gives you indication of the loop, you can go ahead and use, you know, fixed positioning or absolute positioning and place it over your image here. You can move it wherever you want. I just want to kind of illustrate to you guys how to do this. So I'm going to go ahead and update this layout. And now when I refresh my page on the front end, bam, we can see the little heart show up. You can mark it and bam, add it to your list. That's awesome, right? So easy to do, but we're not done yet. We want to be able to check out these wishlisted items in the future. So we're going to do one more thing here. We're going to go back to the Divi library. And what we're going to do is just create a new layout and we'll just say, my wish list as a layout. It doesn't really matter what you call this because you're going to be assigning it in the backend. So it shows up in your my count area. I'm going to set that as a layout and I am just going to submit that. Now, all you need to show your wish listed items is to add an archive loop module. I'm going to build from scratch, of course, here. And then I will just add the single column row and I will just add the product loop the ARP product loop module. And then we're going to say, okay, well, the post type is going to be products, but the display type, and this is the difference. You're going to set the wish list. So only those wish listed items show up. Now, the last thing you do is you select the loop layout. I'm going to use my image top wish list loop layout so that we can wish list or unwish list them again. And that's all I'm doing for right now. So I'm just going to go ahead and update this layout. And then just one more thing to do is to go back to the body commerce settings, go to body commerce, and then you go to the account pages. Now on the account pages, the wish list will be showing up in your my account area. That's why we come over here and when you scroll down a bit, you see there select wish list layout and you will just select that layout we just created my wish list and you can go ahead and save that page. Now here you can see where your wish list will be located. It is just your domain forward slash my accounts forward slash wish list. And I am just going to go copy that, go to the front end. We are going to paste it to the end of our URL here. I'm going to hit that enter button. 
And there you go. There you have your wishlist set item. Now, of course, you can build out an entire layout here, but that is how it works. Now, we can, of course, go back to that page where I just was. And maybe um, I'll refresh it just so we can double check and add, let's add two more. There we go. And then if we go ahead and go back to the URL, of course, bam, we'll see all of them there. So that's really it, guys. That's how easy it is to add a wish list to your Divi store. And you've done it awesome and fast, and it looks great. And definitely your design will do a better job than I did here. But guys, if you haven't subscribed yet, if you don't own body commerce, come on, what are you doing? Go out there and get it. There's a 15% discount for you in the description of this video. So run, go get it. And then of course, those of you that haven't liked and subscribed the video yet, also please do that. That helps us make this content for you to make the most out of your Divi engine investments. So guys, that's gonna be it from me, Roby with the Divi engine team. Thanks for being here. I'm gonna catch you in the next video. Bye for now.